Hey folks, how's it going? Robert here. Out in the woods for the day. It's like December 5th. It's Monday. So, we're up here at the cabin. It's a dandy cabin. Yeah, it's pretty cool up here. It's my buddy's place. So, anyway, my buddy Russell's. We'll go in here in a little bit and take a look around and see what it looks like. Lots of tracks. Yeah, all kinds of tracks. Both of us hunting with shotguns. Hey, look, check it out. Our Long Hunter series guns. Awesome guns. Both two Cooies. Russell's is a newer model, Thanks mine's older. Second World War. Yeah. Sharp long distance. Yeah. <laughs> Sharp shooting. Hey, no, look, check this out, you guys. Check this out. Let me see, it showed me your sight. Put a sight off of a... Pellet gun. Off a pellet gun, man, on the front of with the regular bead. It's popping uh, pop cans, man, at 100 yards with a slug. Awesome gun. Oh, yeah. Cooking some deer meat on the 5-inch pan alcohol stove. Russ has got the propane over there uh, cooking some... Uh, Potatoes, of course. Yeah, I prefer the caveman, Matt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, get some potatoes. And his some, is, uh, his is done, just be done. It just started boiling there now. Better turn it down a little. Yeah. I put a shirt on so I wasn't scaring any of you YouTube people. I apologize for my ugliness. <laughs> me, I left mine on so you could see me. <laughs> yep. I got the high chair. I'm gonna get a low chair. So we did a bit of hunting. We didn't see nothing. I lots thought I track. saw something. Lots of tracks. Fuck! They make for watery soup. Yup. Way back in the middle of nowhere. He'd give you GPS coordinates, but you might show up. <laughs> Splitting wood by candlelight. Swamp water coffee. There's Where? stuff floating in that. Oh, I told you that, right? Oh, swamp water coffee. Sure, I it up. <laughs> it's good stuff. Now, this is all the stuff I got in my cup, too, right? But it's tasty. <laughs> It'll keep you regular. Well, here we are the next morning. It's like 10 o'clock. Thanks, man. I'm just cooking up some deer meat here. Cooking up some deer meat. Got the hammock all put away and stuff, so... Pretty foggy out. She was a wet morning from the fog when I get up. It stayed pretty dry in the hammock though. It was pretty good. <laughs> There's the cabin. Yeah. We shot the 12 gauge. Was it a 3 inch or 2 and 3 quarter? 3 inch. 3 inch magnum. Wow. This tree is like, you're talking 7 inches from one side to the other. <laughs> Look at the hole. It blew through the mother tree. Like that's a huge hole through the tree. Like, I can shove my finger almost all the way through the tree. That's like crazy. Huge hole. Like, holy, you'd have no hope <laughs> surviving that. You could, pretty good when you can shoot a deer through a friggin' nine inch tree. Bruises. Crazy. That's a three inch magnum holes, two of them, right through that tree. Like that's just absolutely crazy. Ludicrous how 
it shot through there, right? Eh? We'll show you the holes on the front. There's going in. There's another one off to the side. That's from about, oh, it's about 30 yards, right? Poor old deer wouldn't have a hope in hell. 12 gauge shotgun. 's I'm just about back to my motorcycle I think my adventures over for these couple of days anyway so again folks thanks for watching the adventure thanks for tagging along and uh, you know again I appreciate your guys' views I appreciate everybody's comments and uh, everyone have a good day thanks bye